Back in the 1920s, things were pretty much the way they are now. At the first rumor of a film company's interest in a town for location shooting, it was big news. On May 3rd, 1926, the Cottage Grove Sentinel declared, Buster Keaton picture may be taken here. And for the next four months, Keaton and his company were front page news. The film was The General, a Civil War comedy based on an actual event known as the Andrews Raid, in which a locomotive was stolen, prompting a wild train chase through the Tennessee mountains. Keaton chose Oregon because he needed a location that resembled Tennessee and because he insisted on using authentic, narrow-gauge track. Cottage Grove offered both. The film started out with a modest budget of $400,000, but wound up costing just under a million. It was billed as the most expensive comedy ever made and went on to be what is still considered by many to be Keaton's best film. A million dollars may not seem like much next to today's 40 and 50 million dollar epics, but remember back then a brand new Pontiac could be had for under $900. During his stay in Cottage Grove, Keaton quickly became the local darling and attended a variety of events, parties held in his honor, baseball games and picnics. There were features, biographies, poems, and even a quick lesson on how to get yourself into the movies. As for the impact on the local economy, well, besides making it possible to fix up the local baseball grounds, Keaton hired 500 extras to play both Union and Confederate soldiers. Reason Longfellow was one of them. I belong to the National Guard here, and they, uh, they got uh, several batteries of the National Guard, Oregon National Guard, Coast Artillery, to, uh, to fill in for the, uh, for the uh, Yankee Army that was uh, across the river up there. We were riding these coaches going out, and they gave us our old long-barreled rifles. And so all the good part of the fellows in there, they was pointing the rifle barrels out the window, and shooting the engines or rebels or Yankees, whichever it would be. And anyway, they, uh, they had some tunnels built up along the track, you see. Well, one friend of mine there, he had his old rifle stick out the window, come along here, and he hit the side of the tunnel. Got to put the darndest kink in the end of that barrel you ever seen. Well, when uh, he got back in, he tried to straighten the rifle barrel out, so he, he got it underneath the seats of the coach and pried, him up, pried up two or three seats of the coach. I don't think he ever, ever did get his rifle barrel straightened out. <laughs> Donna Allen, who now runs the Cottage Grove Museum, was present during much of the filming. Today, she still has vivid memories of her brush with Hollywood. Mr. Keaton was unusually short, had a dog that was unusually large, and if there was anybody in the hotel who would laugh at him, he would get on that dog and ride, and ride the dog up to the first landing and then take the elevator the rest of the way. What's your most vivid memory of the film? I saw the bridge go down, and it made a big splash when it fell. That was the most expensive scene that had been taken in any movie anywhere. This one shot cost about $42,000. It cost that much partly because the film company built their own bridge from scratch. This is the exact site where the bridge traversed the Rau River in 1926. And according to the Cottage Grove Sentinel, as if singing its funeral dirge, the steam rising from the heated boiler caused the whistle to set up a mournful tune. And it's said that one of the spectators fainted when the head of one of the dummy soldiers, which had been on board the engine, floated downstream in front of her. They had a dummy in there that sure looked like the engineer. They got out there in the middle of the river and they had the logs partly sawed in two and a charge of dynamite under it. Although the wrecked engine was eventually sold for scrap, there are still some remnants of the crash, like this piece of bent track. Shooting took place during a particularly dry summer, and a fire was touched off during one of the battle scenes. Keaton apparently doffed his trousers to help save Oregon's virgin timber. Yeah, I think Buster took off his pants and out there used that to brace the grass fires out. I can recall seeing the general with my family in the 60s. I remember it because we saw it four times in one week. You might say it was the Star Wars of the day. I wonder, though, if Star Wars will still be playing in the year 2020. Cottage Grove seems to have paved the way for other film companies to follow. To date, over 50 features and TV movies have been shot in Oregon. Recent projects have included A Summer to Remember, shot in Salem, The Goonies, a Steven Spielberg production filmed largely in Astoria, and The Body, adapted from a Stephen King novel and directed by Rob Reiner in Brownsville. 
You can bet on one thing, though. It'll be a hit in Brownsville later next year, just as the general was in Cottage Grove on January 27, 1927. Thank you.